agenda for first grade is going to be the following. On first step is going to be the welcome. The second step is going to be the reflection. The third step, singing a song. On this case, is going to be the song, Are You Sleeping? From our reading box, page 102. This is going to be emotional part to work. On fourth part, it's gonna be time to read. No more sweets. This is gonna be a reading from a reading box. On fifth part, are gonna be the context, developing context. Where is grandma? Yes, she is. No, he isn't. And pet party. And then, we are gonna develop our practice book. And after, on the ending, we are going to have a space to you ask questions to your teacher. This part is called question and answer. During the video, the teacher is going to be connected on the chat. And if you have a question, he's going to answer. Let's start. Hello, good morning, good afternoon, students. Today is the turn for first class. Um, today it's Friday, Friday, July 3rd, 2020. We are going to learn a lot about our family. We are going to have a lot of changes and we are going to um, learn some vocabulary. First of all, let me give you welcome to our class. Welcome to be here in... Um, I want to tell you that if you can subscribe to my channel, it's going to be okay. Because there you are going to interact with me. You will chat with me. And I will answer all your questions there. Um, uh, it's very important to say that we are going to have more minutes and classes. More minutes on the classes. And we are going to add some changes. Uh, the changes that we are going to have it. Uh, are that we are going to work um, a lot we are going to have a part of reading packs and, and, and also a lot of vocabulary well let's start after we already know our agenda we are going to talk about our reflection our reflection says stop trying to perfect your children but keep trying to perfect your relationship with her or, her or him. Um, this reflection is made for our own family, for father, for mother, for a brother or sister, etc. Because sometimes our kids don't understand about the content that they are studying. And maybe they say yes that they understand because they don't have the self confidence to say it and to tell us uh, what they feel. We have to work with them to work you know, to work the self confidence. In other words, um, debemos detenernos intentar perfeccionar a nuestros niños. Es más, para alcanzar el éxito debemos intentar perfeccionar su, la relación de nosotros con ellos con ellos, con él o con ella, con nuestro hijo o con nuestra hija. Muchas veces decía en inglés que el niño o la niña no entiende alguna parte de la clase y nosotros como adultos nos enojamos, entonces él siempre dice que ha entendido y lo que hace es eh, pues mentirnos, entonces debemos de trabajar mejor la parte de la confianza de él o de ella hacia nosotros. Bueno, well, after this, we are going to have another part of our work. On this phase of the educative part, we are going to have, on five minutes, we have to work the emotional part. But it's very important to say that these sounds are on a reading box. The title of the song is Are You Sleeping? Page 102, RP. What is the meaning of RP, RP, reading packs? Let's sing the song. Everybody, you need, I need to practice because this is going to help to understand better 
also the class. Please, N is gonna be uh, for you. Practice the pronunciation. Let's listen. This song is to you practice of your home after after the sun we are gonna practice or we are gonna study our vocabulary about the reading no more sweets page 40 reading patch what about the vocabulary we have uh, for keywords the number one is candy repeat it's candy candy fruit fruit vegetables vegetables exercise exercise and here on leg spread it you are gonna answer up your notebook it says answer the question what clues does the title provide to what the story will be about the title says no more sweets or no more candies a synonym of sweet is candy what clues do the keywords provide to what the story will be about? The key, the, the keywords, the vocabulary. Number three, what can you tell about Andy from the picture? ¿Qué podemos, la número uno, qué pistas nos da el título de la historia? ¿De qué va a ser la historia? No más, no más dulces. La número dos, qué pistas nos dan las el vocabulario o las palabras claves y el número tres que puede decirnos de Andy de la imagen inicial para ello te invito a ver tu libro thank you let's continue with our class you're gonna work with this in your notebook remember that the first five minutes of our class we are gonna work our readings well the pace that we are gonna develop for this class are 36 37 and 38 I know that this page we already completed now some weeks ago but we are gonna do it again because I want to check it out if you understand it says listen and attach the stickers we are gonna use our sticker for the people that couldn't do it the stickers are the number 3b and here we have some part of our house kitchen living room bathroom and bedroom we are gonna know which member of the family is there let's listen let's listen and let's de identify please Track 33. Listen and attach the stickers. 
Where's Dad? He's in the kitchen. As you can listen, Dad, Dad, Father is in the kitchen. You are going to attach the sticker from the Dad here. Where's Mom? She's in the living room. Mommy, Mother, Mom is in the living room. Mom. Where's Grandpa? He's in the bathroom. Grandpa is in the bathroom. Where's Grandma? She's in the bedroom. Grandma is in the bedroom. What is missing? What are you going to do? You can attach in your notebook and you can practice. For example, here, play a guessing a game. You can draw the picture from your family and you can ask with your mommy or your father or with your brother or sister, where is grandma? And you are going to practice how are you going to answer this question. She's in the bedroom. You can use a um, different part of her, of her house. And on the next page, it says, in the hallway. What is the meaning of hallway? Pasillo, el pasillo. Así se dice el contenido. Dice, ¿está él en el pasillo? Es una pregunta. Is he in the hallway? Look, trace, and circle. Where is my brother? The picture number one. Is he in the kitchen? Kitchen? Yes, he is. No, he isn't. On the K on this case is not he isn't. Is he in the dining room? The table, the chair, yes. Yes, he is. Where is my sister? Is she in the bedroom? No, she isn't. Is she in the hallway? Yes, she is. Generally the hallway is between the the bedrooms, either, or, or we have hallways on our living room, etc. And here we have a project. It says, drag yourself in your favorite room. Por favor, hacerlo en su cuaderno. Y de esto sí me pueden tomar una, una foto de evidencia. Quien quiera hacerlo, se va a dibujar en su cuarto favorito ¿verdad? de la casa. Por ejemplo, este chico se ha dibujado en la sala. Podemos practicar la pregunta. Is he in the hallway? Yes, he is. No, he isn't. Are you in the kitchen? Yes, I am. No, I am not. It depends about the question. It's going to depend also on the answer. Dependiendo la pregunta, también depende la respuesta. And finally, what we have here, well, the last, the last activity that we have, the last period, the, la the last period, it was about this. May affect collapses. We are not going to... We are not going to do it again, but we are going to practice our son. Please, let's listen and practice. Track 34. Listen, point, and say the chant. Pet party. develop our class what are we gonna do right now we are gonna complete our practice book we are gonna go page 34 the first one that we are gonna develop si hay alguna duda no eh, eh, al final del video tenemos question and answer un espacio para yo poder contestarles sus preguntas verifiquemos yo sé que estas páginas eh, algunas ya las hicimos. 
esta por ejemplo esta que de atrás sí entonces nos vamos a ir a la 34 draw each person in a different room and color dibuja cada persona en un diferente cuarto y colorea por ejemplo la mamá mommy a dónde la vamos a dejar living room hallway or dining room la puedes dibujar donde tú quieras Van a ser diferentes respuestas porque depende de ti a donde los quieras poner. That, maybe in the living room. And, in this case, you, maybe in the hallway. Y de esto dependerá realizar la pregunta. ¿Dónde está mamá? Where is mom? En este caso yo la dibujo, supongo que la dibujé en el, en el dining room. She is in the dining room. She is porque es ella. Ahora papá. Where is that? So, supongo que lo dibujé en el, en el living room. He is in the living room. Y así sucesivamente. Yo sé que ustedes lo van a hacer muy bien. Alguna duda, ustedes me dirán. Les daré un pequeño espacio para que lo realicen. Daremos un minuto para realizar. Let's do it. Mientras ustedes lo realizan, voy a volver a poner la canción para que así nos vayamos acostumbrando a escucharla. Vamos, en lo que suena la canción, tú tienes que trabajar esta parte. Vamos, chicos, chicas. Act 34. Listen, point, and say the chant. Pet party. I know that you already did it. If you have need more time after the class, you can complete. The next part is gonna be very easy. It's gonna be about color. You have to use your pencil color. It says, look and color the pets by number. Mira y colorea las mascotas por su número. El número uno será red. ¿Qué es el número uno? Snake. ¿Saben de que el snake muchas personas tienen... tienen a las serpientes como mascota en este caso color red number two green is the bird number three yellow is the dog number four blue is the fish and number five orange is the cat y respondamos las preguntas is the bird red es el pajarillo rojo Veamos el pajarillo que color era. Era verde, no es rojo. No it isn't. No it isn't. Circle. Circle, no it isn't. Well, this was the class, people. If you want to share with me, if you have a question, I will be here. Do you ask me some question, I will answer you. Thank you so much, and we are going to see us in the next class. Bye-bye.